We spend our lives trying to be as efficient and effective as possible. So we need products that work just as hard as we do. Like an all-in-one hydrating moisturizer that lets us put our best face forward. Ever wonder how some of the best and brightest made it to where they are? Behind every successful woman is the story about getting there and their journey to the top. So I'm teaming up with The Skim to learn and share the secrets of their success. When I look back at my career, there have been several points where I literally felt lost. I didn't know what I should do. So, welcome to my closet. Today, I'm very excited. I'm interviewing Eva Chen at the Instagram headquarters here in New York. So I've got to up my shoe game because as you probably know, she posts her shoes every day on her feed. So, maybe these, because I actually bought them on Instagram. So we wanted to kind of get a typical day in your life. Let's do it. What time do you get up in the morning? Oh gosh, well with two kids, I get up usually between 5.45 and 6.15. Wow. My, I have human alarm clocks. I usually hear, mommy! <laughs> We eat breakfast together. Well, I caffeinate and they eat breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Do you do any exercise? We tend to do team workouts because I realized okay, if I have to go to the gym on my own, I'm never going to go. So my coworkers and I all work out together once or twice a week. And that's like our fun kind of team bonding. Do you freak out about what you're going to wear every day, Eva? I don't freak out about what I'm going to wear. because You look very cute, by oh, the way. You. But like... you have become known for your shoes. Every morning on my way to work, I take a shoe shot. I've not taken one yet today. Well, obviously. look, let's do it, woman. Let's do Come it. On. Watch out, Anna Wintour. <laughs> Cute. We did it. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Welcome, Katie. Wow. Oh, wow. We are rolling out the Instagram carpet. Can we do a selfie? Definitely. So, you have smoothies? Oh, that looks delicious. Oh. This is another photo stop, and it's a green wall. It's like a living plant wall, so all the plants are real. What does a job exactly entail? My job is to work with designers, stylists, models, photographers, magazines, everything that touches the fashion world. Basically, a lot of people will say, like, well, I don't want to post too much because I want to be mysterious. I want to be a cool fashion person. And it's like, if you're not posting content, there's no content for people to see. They can't like it, and you can't grow your following. And why do you think Instagram is such an appealing platform for so many people? I mean, I think fundamentally, we are visual like beings. Like Everyone loves and can understand something when they see it in a photograph form. How do you help teenage girls who say, gosh, it just makes me feel bad about myself? It's hard to be a teenager. And the message I always had when I worked at Teen Vogue was like, you have to find your passion and find what makes you happy and then like dive into that. Don't worry about what other people say. Skin the perfect Instagram post. Number one, natural light is always great and flattering. Number two, you feel like you're in a place with someone or you feel like you're experiencing something. And number three, I would say is authenticity and just being yourself. And when you are yourself, that is the best Instagram photo of all. This Good. is beautiful. Yeah, welcome to the roof. I grew up just a few blocks away from here, actually. Where were your parents from? My parents are from Shanghai and Taipei. And why did they come to the US? They came to the US as I think a lot of immigrants do, and obviously that's something that's relevant right now, like the hope and kind of opportunity to give your kids a better life. And now as a parent myself, I understand that. What was your childhood like? I mean, I was a bookworm. I was really shy. Like, I didn't speak English perfectly for a little while because Chinese was my first language. You were pre-med at Johns Hopkins. Yeah. Who knew? I, who knew? I know. So I was on the pre-med track and I had to like work so hard to get average grades. It was like fitting a square peg in a round hole. What did your parents say when you decided, I don't want to be a doctor, mom and dad? I think they didn't talk to me for a very long time, which was difficult. And when I worked in magazines, like they just saw how happy I was. And I think they were happy for me ultimately. Yeah. One of your first jobs in magazines was as a beauty stylist, yeah. which probably wasn't your ultimate goal. But what did that teach you about seizing the opportunity? I think it's really important to say yes to opportunities. I mean, even if you're not sure if it will expand your skill set and teach you something new, you should do it. What was your biggest setback and how were you able to bounce back? For me, when I look back at my career, there have been several points where I literally felt lost. So 
For me, the way I've always come out of something like that is by talking to people. Like no said, man is an island. No man is an island. Or no woman. woman is an island. And I think that's really important to remember. It's like, turn to your community and don't be afraid to ask people for help or for advice because that's really what's gotten me out every single time. Why is this such an exciting time to be a woman in your view? Because women are speaking up. They are speaking the truth so you can live anywhere and connect with a woman going through the same experience as you. And it's made the world a smaller and more powerful place. What is your best advice for getting there? Just keep asking questions. It's a constant journey. Like your own career, it might be twisty and turny and take you on a million different detours, but that's something to be celebrated. Where do you go from here? Go, I hopefully will go home and go to sleep like, and hug my children. Like professionally, who knows? I mean, my whole career has not been mapped. Wherever I go, it'll be reflective of my passion at the time. It's been so nice. Thank you, Eva. Thank you for coming and visiting me and eating ice cream and hanging out and doing selfies with me. It's been really fun.